Hi, I'm Leah with The Rave TV, and I'm here to dive deeply into the soul of Jeff from The Used. Oh, I like that, the soul of Jeff. So tell me, Jeff, w at what point in your childhood did you have that incident where you decided you were going to screw everything else and join a band? Um, which way do you mean screw everything else? Uh, <laughs> you know, was it like a family member? It was probably or puberty! Was it like your dog <laughs> got hit by a car and... No. Oh, um, that kind Puberty. of screw everything else. <laughs> there are certain things we just really can't talk about on here. Oh, you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> I really love the ceiling here, though. Anyway, talking. It is. I don't think the camera can catch the ceiling, I wish it but could. it looks like the wall. This one is my favorite. It's way better than the walls. The ceiling is actually way better than the walls here. How's the couch? It's so comfortable. Oh, my God. How's tour been so far? Not as comfy as this couch. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. Yeah, it's really comfortable. Tour's been great taking back Sunday to a bunch of nice dudes and so touring with them has been great and easy and the other two bands are so nice everybody and I don't know everybody gets along really easily and all the shows have been awesome we've been playing really well I'm talking to the ceiling as if you're the ceiling so maybe we can can you blue I know I this? feel really sad like like I'm not good enough to talk to you no you're you're doing <laughs> the you're the um you're coaching me on the couch I am <laughs> so you guys just came out with a new album, Imaginary Enemies. Oh yeah, we did. We just put it out. It was April 1st. It wasn't going to be an April Fool's prank, unless you're guessing. No. No. I, I just, thought it was I just found be it on Spotify yesterday, actually. Nice. Nice. Well, yeah, it came out. It's doing really well. It's recorded uh, very different from all of our other records. We actually, I want to say recorded it backwards, but technically it's not backwards. We, we started, with, um, started with a guitar line. And Bert sang vocals over top of it. We had it was a dummy guitar and dummy drums, which means we weren't going to keep it. It was just a, kind okay. of a guess of how it's going to go. And Bert sang and wrote melodies over top of that with lyrics. And then we came in and put the drums down. And then we came in and I like wrote our parts to it. You know, like wrote the bass, then wrote the guitar, and then kind of pieced it backwards from the start, as opposed to what we usually do. We usually just jam music out until we get something we're really happy with, and then we have Bert come put vocals over top of it so it was a definite backwards it seems like this album has a a few more political uh, songs on it uh, than some of your other albums uh, have uh wow. it's a little more political yeah um the one before this actually we got mean, another record that was very political is it because you guys are like kind of adults now versus thank you for calling me an adult <laughs> versus <laughs> when i first heard you guys like 10 years ago um you know i think it's just time We've we all are big into uh, just keeping up what we can, and Bert's Bert's very well read. Bert reads all day, every day, and just keeps keeps up on what's going on and what's really going on and what people are saying what's going on. Well, that's a good thing, especially since there you guys have some young fans who probably aren't too politically inclined yet. I know I wasn't when I was younger, so it's really mostly just paying attention. You know, yeah. there's a lot of like there's a lot of this going on. Hey guys, look yeah. But, see, you didn't see my hand back here, did you? This is what's really going on. So you still can't your see head's it. In the way, so my know. head's usually <laughs> in the way of my hand, see? But usually the, the real stuff is back here. So whatever people are putting in front of your face, like, hey, look at this. Look at this right here. You got to look at this hand. Okay, don't forget, there's two hands to every person. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, well, I mean, mm. most of them, right? Yeah, I think mm. so. Um, so your heart logo that has... I don't know if haunted is the right word, but that has followed you guys mm -hmm. from almost every album. It looks way different now. Um, yeah, it's, it's um, a real heart. Yeah. Yeah. Versus the drippy Versus Alex the drippy Party heart. Other heart. Well, this record's a little more real as far as lyrical content goes. And that's not actually true. That was a horrible way to put it. The other records were real as far as emotional and mental kind of clarity goes and this record's a little more clear as, of, as far as like we we're talking about political and mm -hmm. there is still emotional and other kind of content on there but yeah you need to listen to it to really find out oh i did oh like wow five times yesterday <laughs> <laughs> it's Woo. very good thank you um anytime are you guys going to work with alex party anymore on your art i know he redesigned the heart logo like two years ago yeah he did a um he did redo the heart logo. We were going to do a thing with all three heart logos, mm -hmm. which might come out later. But um, I don't know. I think Alex is off in his own world, and he's doing his own journey. And that's why we, we try to find young artists that okay. aren't anywhere and aren't doing anything and need a little push to get help and get out there. We like helping people as much as we can. And that's awesome. 
I think Alex doesn't need our help anymore. I think it's the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, it's nice to be needed, right? Yeah, very much. So the other question I have is I've noticed that there's a severe lack of redheads in your band. Which we have one. Yeah. Like a real, real, a redhead. real redhead? Dan, our drummer, is a redhead. You should see his kid. His kid has bright red hair. Really? What? Blue we'll eyes? show it in a second. <laughs> Hang on. Let's pull it up. No. Right here. Look. See those ends? They're real red. That mustache <laughs> is as red as it gets. You know, I'm going to have to see the real picture of that because now it's fuchsia. Yeah, so we have all the colors of the rainbow here, actually, hair color-wise. Mm. And you both, you all look very serious. Very serious. Very serious. I look like an Indian chief in mine. <laughs> Part Indian, it kind of shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Small amount there, I see it. A little bit. You're missing the single teardrop coming down your That happens a lot, believe it or not. I, I live with the teardrop. I just have to hide it. That happens when I forget to bring, gran bring ranch dressing in my purse and there's pizza around. Actually, I'm vegan. See, that's Single where the teardrop tier. came from, this the vegan part now. This is for you for not having ranch. <laughs> well, Vegan Jeff, it was great talking with you today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the couch. I love this couch. I would actually take it to our bus if I could right now, which hey, I might. I wouldn't notice. It's not my couch. Sick. Thank you for watching The Rave TV.